this is a really important and risky time to do public critical work on science. And I think it's crucial to do it because, um, you know, I have, I often have, you know, my, I like science. I'm scientifically trained. I love science. I get bashed with, I, or I don't know, bashed, that's, that's a strong word. I haven't been bashed. I get criticized sometimes um, within um, circles of more humanities-oriented scholars for spending so much time taking the science seriously when obviously it's just trading in a lot of uh, fable and narrative and stereotypes. So why do I keep going into all the little details? And I do that because um, I am part of a group of committed feminist scientists and scholars of science who see how the scientific method is actually something very special. And it's not that we need to get rid of it, it's that we need to elaborate it further to figure out ways to systematically test our assumptions and biases in ways that, that currently are not part of scientific training. And there is a, there are so many problems right now in the structure of science, including mass, uh, the flooding of uh, scientific journals with commercially produced work that's about selling products and selling particular ideas, um, about the incredible preference for so-called positive findings over negative findings. Now, there are some strategies that have been offered up lately, like the idea of pre-registration protocols. Have you ever heard of that? Okay, so this is a really cool, th I'm good, I get to tell something useful that's happening. So. Pre-registration protocols are meant to deal with the problem of um, uh, that it's really hard to get negative findings published, meaning you have a hypothesis, you do a great study, your hypothesis isn't supported, it sinks like a stone. And yet, so there might be 50 other people out there over the course of a few years who have the same brilliant idea, they also don't find anything. The one person who manages to get a funny sample that finds some association gets their study published. And so this is called the file drawer problem. That's one of the issues with pre-registration. Another issue is that because of the push to only get positive findings, people have moved towards all kinds of poor statistical practice where they do what's called post hoc testing and phishing. So you go in with one hypothesis, you keep going back, you torture the data until they talk. You yeah. get something out of those data or else all your time and money is wasted. And if you pre-register your protocol, what happens is you lay out your study plan, you lay out what variables you have, you lay out how you're gonna get the data, you lay out your analysis plan, you even say what statistical tests you're gonna use. And then you submit this plan to a journal. And the journal says, interesting study. If you do exactly that study, we will publish it regardless of what you find. And so it's a contract that allows people to do honest scientific work and not have to torture the data. Um, so that's one answer. Uh, I think there are lots of other answers. I think more scientists need to be trained in critical thinking, critical analysis. We need more feminist scientists, critical race scholars doing this work and so on. Um, but uh, thank you for the question. That's all I can give you.